the next day is a glorious summer's day, so I head south to take a trip around the Dingle Peninsula. My next port of call is the quaint fishing village of Dingle. I think Dingle pretty much sets the record for number of pubs per head of population. There are 52 pubs, which roughly works out to be a pub for every 36 people. But this isn't the reason hordes of tourists come to the town. Dingle Harbour is home of a bottlenose dolphin called Fungi. Since the early 1980s, Fungi has decided he prefers the company of humans to his own kind. Personally, I can't understand why on earth Fungi would put up with us. The daily boat tours, the screaming masses, the constant requests to jump out of the water like a trained pet. So I spoke with tour operator Jimmy Flannery, asking him why he thinks Fungi has stayed in the harbour for so many years. He does like interacting with people, there's no doubt about that. Because if he, if, I think that's part of the reason why he stayed is when people befriended him, and, and he certainly has become friends with the people. And uh, if you get kids out there and they're shouting and roaring his name and shouting, he seems to come up a bit. It doesn't frighten him. He'll come up and he'll even look at him with the eye and, and he'll come alongside the boat and he'll go along nice and easy. And the more they shout at him, the more he seems to come up and enjoy it. Even myself, that have been bred, born and reared in the sea, if it wasn't for fungi, I suppose I wouldn't see four or five dolphins in my lifetime. Because they don't come into the harbour, they don't stay that long. So the fact that people have never seen dolphins in their life before, and to see this guy come up alongside the boat and he's jumping around and everything, for those people it must be fantastic. And it is, because if you listen to the kids and the reaction of those kids that see him for the first time, then you'll get a feeling of what it's like for those people. And for the adults as well, they're shouting bombing and roaring as well, you know. Yeah. I met three sisters on Jimmy's tour. Like many people who visit Fungi, they believe human-dolphin interaction can lead to the curing of many life-threatening illnesses. I spoke with Jill Griffiths about the miraculous healing of her young niece's cancer. I've been coming here for the last 10 years and I come with my two sisters and we literally come in pilgrimage really as a thanksgiving for what we considered was the cure that Fungi gave to our niece. Rachel was very, very ill and her one wish was to swim with a dolphin and a a very, very nice young man who had um, a jet ski said he would take her out into the bay as a passenger because Fungi used to play with him on the jet ski and um, she went out with him and she said Fungi jumped up to her and she looked into his eyes and he took her breath away. She thought she'd never breathe again and from that day onwards she just progressed and got better and better and better. And now, 10 years later, she's been cured of the cancer that she was literally dying of. I truly believe that dolphins have an affinity with the human race. And another story, we went out swimming one morning. We hired the wetsuits and we went out swimming and there was a boy with multiple sclerosis and this Chris went out swimming with us but Fungi totally ignored us and he went right to Chris because he knows the people that need him 
and I'm sure dolphins sense this. They, they sense people that need them and they just go to them and, and that's where the electricity or whatever, the magic just gets passed across. That night, Jimmy invited me to a local variety night where there was singing, music, and this little hot step. I want to test out myself next time I hit the dance floor. It seems everyone can sing in Ireland. Jimmy could knock out a tune, as could his daughter, Geraldine. In fact, later that night, I went out to the pub with the Flannery clan, where there was even more singing. God bless the Irish. In Australia, closing time at a pub usually means a punch-up, not a sing-along. 